The group met in Port Mosby today and expressed concerns in a number of areas. On top of this, state and customary land overall in PNG is continuously being abused. And then even when before the SABL inquiry is, is not completed its report yet, we see some you know, irregularities there and we want some uh, uh, answers or even for the government or the secretary to withdraw those SABLs because there is something fishy going on here. They showed reports that the land department had allowed illegal deals to take place despite an NEC decision 2011 to stop issuance of special purpose agriculture and business leases. The stoppage was to allow for a commission of inquiry to be carried out. So under the land reform, we have asked for, or we, we are under the NLDP, we are pushing for a stop to that allocation, abolish the land board, and put in a market system, an auction, or a market-oriented system so that developers can come and the state can get market value of that piece of land from a UDL instead of going under the table with a public application fee. Following the NEC decision, there was a temporary suspension on further processing, granting and gazette all of any SPABL by the Department of Lands and Physical Planning, granting of any forest clearance authority by the PNG Forest Authority, registration, transfer and issuing of leases on all previously granted leases until the Commission of Inquiry report is completed. This, however, had not been complied with. They found that the department had made two gazettes in the Oro province recently. We cannot have an oil farm just for 50 years. Nobody will grow oil farm for 50 years. But, uh, in 50 years, you will just grow two crops. The rotation is about, on average, about 25. So two crops and no oil farm developer would want to develop an oil farm for 50 years. So it's actually a logging concession rather than a uh, idea. Concerns were also raised on abuse of processes to obtaining land and developing it. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News.